Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Max Ganakovsky here. Today I'm doing something different. Uh, I came to my friend's go-kart race, longtime friend actually. We've known each other since grade two and he's been into karting for a while and he's always been inviting me but I've been busy with BMX and everything. But this year there's no races. I had training done yesterday so why not come and support a friend, you know? So today uh, I'm in Strathmore at the go-kart track and I'm gonna show you what it's like being at a go-kart race and how what it's like in the pits, what it's like in the race, some POV videos on the GoPro, like see some videos around the track. So hope you enjoy. So I'm walking up to my friend's trailer, which is over here. He has all the car set up and everything. So I'll show you inside. Okay, so this is my friend's uh, trailer. So this is the car, this is the trailer. That's my friend Kevin, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kevin and I've been karting for about three years now. Yeah, so he's just doing some fine tuning on his cart before the race. So just tell us like, what's the format for today? So on a normal race weekend, we have practice, qualifying, pre-final and final, where practice is the first session of the day we get to feel what the track is like how the cart's handling qualifying is we strap on new tires and we set the fastest lap we can and that sets the grid order for the pre-final and the pre-final is a 10 lap race a 10 lap sprint where where you finish in the pre-final will set the grid for the final and then where you finish in the final which is a 12 lap race is the final order of the drivers all right, yeah, so you've been karting for what, three years now? Yep, well, technically I started halfway through 2017 and then I took a quick, I took a year off in 2019. So if you combine everything, it's two years of racing, but three years since I started. Yeah, so he's just fine tuning his car. As you can see, there's a lot of parts that goes into this car and you always have to make sure it's firing good, right? Yep. Just to make sure. There's so many things, like Max said, that you can adjust on the cart, and it really depends on how you like your cart set up and your driving style. Some of the rougher drivers might like a different front end to the cart, while some of the smoothers can benefit from more of a, a oversteer type setup. Yeah, so uh, it looks like you have a 388, so any, uh, like any ideas behind that number? Why did you pick that well, number? I, I used to watch a lot of motorcycle racing and my my favorite driver back then was Danny Pedrosa who ran the number 26 and I kind of eventually just trans transitioned into 88 and that just sort of became my number and then the three at the front is actually just the Canadian national number so when you go for national races and a national race I'm going to you're supposed to have your class designation number so for the senior road tax the class designation number is three okay cool so how are you feeling for the race today so you've obviously have been off the car for a while you're getting dusting off the cobweb so how do you feel yeah well um qualifying went well we were we were only about less than a tenth off second place and a couple tenths off pole so it's all really tight at the front but when the tires all have their first heat cycle, they all sort of equalize and usually the pre-final is the one to watch where everyone has the best tires they have on and it's the most competitive racing. Okay, Kevin, so I'm looking at the car. So what parts can you really change on this car? Well, there's actually so many things you can change on the car and that each affect the handling characteristics of the car. So in general, as carters, we like to talk about front and rear grip and taking away and moving the grip around. So we can change how wide the front axle is, the toe, camber, caster. We can also change the front bar. We can, have, we can change the rear width. And finally, we can also change the rims, which have different heating characteristics. Okay, and uh, you wanted to add, like, how fast do these cars really go? Well, it's kind of hard to visualize it, but we can get about 110 kilometers an hour here in Canada. But some tracks in Europe and the States, they can get a lot faster because they have longer straights and better asphalt. And the biggest thing is these carts are they're not really toys. They're not like the carts you hear when you go to speeders or something. They're the beginning of uh, a racing career. This is where most guys get their start in racing. And then they work their way up through the junior categories of different branches of like GT car racing or formula car racing. 
Okay, cool. And we also have another GoPro on there, so we'll see some onboards too. So the cool part today is that I have this uh, pink band on me, so it means I can go to the pit pass and help this guy with his car, so you guys can really get in depth with his car and everything. So it'll be pretty cool. I'm excited for it. So shortly me and Kevin will be heading to the pre-grid, so that's where the race starts, and yeah, so he can get ready. Okay, so what happened last race? Well, uh, what ended up happening is as I was going out onto the formation lap, there was a problem with my throttle cable where it was sticking. So I'd give full gas and then when I came off, the cable would kind of just do that. Yeah. And so I'd have full gas when I was completely off the throttle and really had to like try and knock the cable loose. So I managed to do a couple of laps, but fell to the back of the field and then got taken out. So I retired. So that's that. Had loads of fun at the go-kart track yesterday with Kevin. It was nice to catch up with him again after not seeing him for a long time. On the racing side of things, I think he raced really well, but luck wasn't on his side unfortunately. But that sport, some days you excel, some days you don't succeed and that's totally okay. And I really hope he can bounce back next week at his next competition in Edmonton, I believe. So Kevin, if you're watching, good luck and all the best.